In Renaissance times, no one needed Shakespeare to tell them that music was the food of love. They knew it already. This is the Palazzo Schifanoia in Ferrara, where one of the most extraordinary fresco cycles of the Renaissance was painted in around 1470, mostly by Cosimo Tura. Ferrara's painters were renowned for their strangeness. Everything they did, they did differently. And in the Palazzo Schifanoia, they outdid themselves with this mystic Meg concoction of astrology, mythology and superstition. It's a kind of walk-in zodiac called the Hall of the Months, with each of the 12 months described and celebrated in strange astrological ways. June is Mercury's month, the month of Cancer, represented here by a surreal shrimp worthy of Salvador Dali. July is the month of Jupiter, so the great god himself drives his chariot pulled by a pair of mighty Leos. All this was devised by the court astrologer and you couldn't ask for clearer evidence of the superstitious underpinnings of the Italian Renaissance with its faith in omens, prophecies and portents. And that's where music comes in again because what we're looking for is Taurus which falls of course in the month of April. Ah yes, April, the month of Venus. There she is driving her chariot out of the sea. The poor wretch chained to her feet is Mars, the god of war, enslaved by love. The swans are there because according to Pliny the Elder, just before they die, swans sing a final beautiful melody. That's why we call it a swan song. There are some very naughty things going on up there. I mean, look at him. Look where he's got his hand. And see that couple there, snogging like a pair of Ferrara teenagers on a Saturday night. And see all these bunny rabbits running around the picture, doing what bunny rabbits have always been famous for doing. Multiplying. It's an outrageously direct painting. All this foreplay, all this snogging, all caused by the dangerous power of music. These strange frescoes by the Ferrarese masters are amongst the most puzzling and intriguing works of the Renaissance. You really have to see them.